All right, let's go ahead and pop into the settings menu here. The way I go into settings, I just bring this down, go into settings. So you have your quick switches up here. You can choose network, sound, display, general. So here's your network, all the basic stuff, sound, change your sound profiles, quiet time, which is you're seeing on more devices now. So you can set a certain time where you want your phone to be quiet. Ringtone with vibration. I usually have that on. Change the ringtone. Our wise ringtone you can turn on and off. It will turn the volume up for the ringtone when outside noise is loud. So maybe if you like go into a bar or something like that, it will try to turn the volume up as loud as possible, which is kind of nice because I hate having my phone set to just one sound because you might be in the middle of somebody or in a group of people and your phone is really loud and it's going off and bugging everybody. So that's a nice feature. You can turn it down and then it'll notice when you're around a lot of noise. Display, I have the brightness set on all the way right now just so we could um, just so that we could uh, show you guys the actual phone is better for you to see and as you can see this is one way I can point out one problem people have been complaining about is the temperature of the device it's been, they say it's been getting hot I haven't seen any confirmation yet from LG about this maybe they'll send out an update to fix it but as of right now it is a problem and as you see I can only turn it up to 87 percent it says it will not go any higher due to high temperature but all right you got your usual things, lock screen, home screen, screen timeout, wide screen, seem that uh, screen will cut out when the device text that your screen is not, or your face is not looking at it. So when you look at the device, the camera will tell you're looking, it'll stay on. If your face goes away, it won't. Auto rotate screen, on or off. You have your front key, those are the keys on the bottom. The notification flash here on the side if you want to turn any of those on or off. Alright, here under general is your power saver. Quad core control if you want to turn it down. You don't think you need full quad or all four cores right now. Whatever the situation may be, you can turn it up and down. Another thing I want to go to is display. We're going to go to home screen. And one thing I like about this is the screen swipe effect you can we have it on carousel right now but you can change it and you just hit it and it'll let you know what it'll look like so when you switch over your pages on your home screen you can actually make it a domino effect like that a layer effect this is what it's on now carousel but let's go ahead and try out domino so as you see it has like a little domino effect there so that's cool you can change it Another thing I'm really not a fan of is how the multitasking or quick change is not here. Decline that. But it's not here. You have to hold down the home button. I'm so used to just being able to press this and go. But that's the options key. Alright, we're going to go ahead and test out the camera here go over some of the camera features Now the camera does work pretty good. It's not the best as you can see in low light situations. But those are my kids on Halloween there. So to me it is one of the more basic cameras. That's my daughter's Halloween party. Now as you can see in good light situations, this is outside. It takes wonderful pictures. It captures everything, has a nice contrast to it. The color saturation is really well. It's just in this low light situation. If it's not a full light situation, as you can see here, 
it's not going to take that good of pictures. So I do kind of give the camera a little bit of a thumbs down just because I like to ca capture Im images in the low light light and I should expect it to be able to be good. So I can definitely say the camera does need some use still. But at least they give us a few nice features. So one of the things you can do is you can just talk to it and say, cheese, whiskey, LG, So basically what it is, you can say all these words. It'll you can say cheese. Cheese. Kimchi. Smile. LG. Whiskey. So I'm definitely not gonna say it like that, but at least gives you that option to say those. And that way if you're taking a picture with your friend, you have the camera pointed towards you. It's hard to see where the button is if you're not using a front facing camera. So that's definitely a nice thing. All you have to do is just go smile and it'll take the picture for you. You also have the time catch shot. So basically it'll, before you press the button, it'll capture before and after. So once you have it on, it's going to so say now I press the button. So once you turn it on, it captures some of the pictures before and, uh, before and after. So that way, in case you took the picture too late, you would still have it. Or if it's a time sensitive thing where you're getting a picture of somebody getting ready to do something, you turn that on and right when you think they're about to do it, you press the button and if you miss it, you at least got time catch to get the before and after. So just in case, so you pick which one and you get to hit the check mark and you can pick which ones you want to save. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the video playback. All right. Now I took some off my computer. I took some of the previous videos that I've uploaded to YouTube just to give you a kind of feel for the video player. So the video playback is really well. Now as you can see the screen is a fingerprint magnet and that was a downside especially with the back glass it just picks up fingerprints like crazy all right so here's a trailer I'm going to show you of the new spider-man movie so you can kind of see how an action movie is turn this volume all the way up so you can hear the speaker I like to show you the dual screen dual play mode there. So you just play this here. And it's basically like say if you still want to use I turn the volume down on there. So if you want to still use the home screen or if you want to send a text message, you just hit the little button there. Now you can see it's like a transparency. So if you want to respond to something really fast, you can do that, send it, go back to this, and then you just go back to the video. vice versa however you want to do it and you can move this wherever you like you could also do it in landscape mode and that way if you are looking at something or reading something and you still want to see the movie you can do that And also, if you were to connect this to your TV with the your HDMI cord or whatever, it would play the movie on the TV, 
while you could use the full screen to do whatever and it will not show it on the TV. So it's doing two totally different tasks at one time. And that's definitely when that quad core processor and the two gigabytes of RAM come in handy. One more feature I'd like to show you is the live zoom. So if you are watching a movie or whatever the need may be, you need to zoom in. You just pinch to zoom and it'll focus in on something. This is only best on high definition videos. So the low resolution videos might not be the best as it'll you know distort your picture and make it look like a lower quality. Now phone calls uh, have been pretty well. Uh, some people said it did sound a little muffled when I was talking to them but people have always told me I've, I've mumbled when I spoke so maybe that's just the case. But for me, hearing them was not a problem. The speakerphone was not a problem. Battery on this, battery life on this device is pretty decent. A lot of people are saying it has a bad battery life. To me, it's not that bad. It gets me through a full work day. When I do come home, though, I say probably about 7 or 8 in the evening, it is getting to the really low mark where it's giving me warnings. But that just depends on you know how well I use it. I'm not a big gamer. I use it mostly for emails, text messages, and phone calls, a few Google searches, and internet browsing. Let's go ahead and show you how gaming is on this device. Gaming pretty well. I've never been a too big of a gamer. Not that good at them anyway, especially sports games. But right here we have the uh, I can't remember the name of this game. Dead Trigger is the game. Basically just like the zombie shooter game. It is free in the App Store. In the Play Store I should say. Sorry about that. So that's the shoe button. All right, here comes a monster. As you can see, I'm not that good, but no lag. And it's also hard to play with the video camera in front of me. Well, you got to see how the gaming was on this device. My overall opinion is that this is definitely a nice phone. Uh, now that we're starting to see, you know, quad core devices appear, a lot of us are taking a lot of interest in them. LG has greatly improved their operating system, uh, especially from what we've seen in the past. But again, it still needs a little bit of an upgrade from the Sense 4.0. Or excuse me, definitely needs an upgrade to compete with Sense 4.0, TouchWiz, or even Motorola. The problems I've noticed is, like I said, just the hotness. And like you see, and I'm pretty sure you've noticed through the video, the screen brightness has went down. But I also have some, you know, lamps. They don't produce that much heat, but some lamps to help me with the lighting of the video. So that caused a little bit of heat, but it will will not let me go over brightness 63 percent brightness right now due to the temperature of the phone and right now it is pretty hot in the back and there's been some times where I've used the video camera when I was tethering with my computer and it got really hot well you all have a great day please make sure you subscribe and follow on Twitter and you all have a great day mm -hmm.